Hi everyone! In this tutorial I will show you how to draw this pizza in Procreate on iPad. This illustration is in a pantry style, so it's a little bit different from what I really draw, but I hope you will enjoy it. Let's start! I'm going to draw this illustration on A4 canvas from Procreate. Let's turn it this way. And here, like always, I have a color palette that you can download. Link will be in the description box. Or you can take a screenshot now, or from my Instagram stories, and use it to sample the colors. We will start with drawing the crust with this first light brown color. The brush I will use here is in the artistic section, and it's called Old Beach. Let's make the size about 34%, and loosely draw a triangle shape like this. Now let's add some more crust here, and just work on the shape of your pizza slice. This is fine, so we can make the brush bigger and color it inside. Ok, it doesn't have to be perfectly filled in. Now let's make a new layer to add some more detail to this pizza crust. So here we have to tap on this plus and we have a new layer above the pizza's crust. Let's pick another color, this darker brown one, and with this color we can define the pizza's shape and make it look more three dimension. Next ingredient on our pizza will be sauce, so let's make a new layer for it. And we have to change the color for this red one. For the sauce we can pick different brush. Let's draw it with this qual brush. I'm not sure if this is how we should pronounce it. So let's just add the sauce to our pizza. Like I said at the beginning, this is more of a painterly style, so you don't have to be precise. What's also fun about it is that we are going to draw this pizza in layers, just like we would be making a real pizza. The sauce is done, so now the next ingredient is cheese. Let's make a new layer for it. And the color for our cheese is of course this yellow one. The brush I will use now is in textures and is this one called Kurawong. Starting with the small size of the brush, I'm drawing outline of the cheese. And now I'm going to make the brush bigger and draw inside it. I hope you are enjoying this video so far and if you will follow this tutorial and would like to share your illustration with me, please tag me on Instagram, I would love to see it. Also please make sure to leave a comment and like to help this video reach more people, it would make me very happy. Ok, the cheese is done, so now we can add some more toppings. Let's make a new layer and pick this dark color for drawing black olives. For this we are going to pick another brush, go to the artistic category and pick La Rapuna. Now let's draw some of us like this. Next ingredient of my pizza will be some green and red peppers. So let's make a new layer for them. And let's pick this green color here. The brush I will be using is this one, Sassafras. For peppers I'm drawing some lines like this. Now 
Now we're going to change the color to this last one, the red one, and draw some red peppers. Okay, the pizza is done, but we can still make it look better by adding some shadows and lights to it. Let's do it first for the peppers. So we have to create a new layer above it. And we are going to tap on this end letter here and change the blending mode to overlay. Now let's tap on this layer and set it to clipping mask. To add shadows we have to change the color to black. So let's just take it from here like that. We are going to change the brush and this time let's go to airbrushing and pick medium brush. Now we can draw some shadows on our peppers. Don't worry that this is so dark now, we will fix it in a moment. First let's add some lights to our peppers. We have to change the color to the white. Ok, so now let's go to the layers. And here we can change the layers opacity. Let's turn it down to 22%. Using this method, we are going to add shadows and lights to all of the layers. So now let's tap on the layer of the olives and create a new layer above it. Tap on it and pick Clipping Mask. Let's change the blending mode to Overlay. And turn down the opacity to 22% like before. Now let's draw some lights and shadows on the olives. It's not so much visible, but it's there. Ok, now it's time for the cheese, so create a new layer above it, change the blending mode to overlay, turn down the opacity to 22% and set it to clipping mask. As you can see here, I'm just kind of doing this randomly. And now some lights. Here I will turn up the layer's opacity to 28%. Ok, so now let's make a new layer above the crust. Set it to clipping mask. Let's put this layer also underneath it. And this layer also will be overlay. And the opacity will be 22%. Let's add some shadows. Okay, now maybe we can make the cheese look burnt in few places. So let's tap on the layer of cheese and create a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask and then pick the blending mode linear burn. Let's go to the colors and pick the yellow color. And now here move it a little bit to the right to make it more saturated. And with this color we can burn the cheese in few places. Ok, now let's go to the layers and turn down the opacity of this layer to 61%. And then tap on it and swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. This new layer we are going to change to multiply blending mode. Let's adjust it still a bit by going to adjustments, hue saturation brightness, then layer, 
and then set the brightness to 26% and saturation to 14%. Now back to the layers, let's turn down the opacity of this layer to 14%. Now let's change the background color. Tap here on the background color and pick this blue color. Now tap on the layers and tap on the layer of the crust and create a new layer. And now we have to move this layer underneath it so it will be above our background. Let's change the blending mode to overlay and let's get back color to add some shadows like this. Maybe we can make it lighter. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer to 72%. We are almost done. I hope you are still watching this and drawing with me. Now we are going to add some highlights to this whole pizza. So let's tap on the top layer and create a new layer above it. Let's pick white color. And the brush we'll use now is Noise Brush from Touch Ups. We can just draw some light on our pizza. A little bit on the crust, on the toppings and cheese. Ok, this is enough. Let's make it a little bit less harsh by changing the layers mode to color dodge. And then turning down the opacity to 63%. As a final touch we can make this pizza hot by adding some steam coming from it. Let's make a new layer. And in the brushes we'll go to the elements. Tap on the flames brush. Swipe it to the left and duplicate it. Now let's tap on this brush and let's modify it. Set the fall off to 27%, streamline to max and spacing to 1. In the tupper category, change the pressure tupper to look like this and set the size to 70%. Now in the apple pencil category, change the flow to 96% Opacity to 73% and change the size to 70%. In the rendering category, set it to be uniform blending. Now tap them and draw some steam. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer. I'm going to set it to 61%. And the pizza is ready. I hope to see your drawings based on this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!